Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, good evening, you? teacher. Good evening, good evening. Hello, hello. Welcome. Finally, I'm positive to copy. Okay. <laughs> My husband and I the, do the PCR test today mm -hmm. and we positive. That means that you both have the virus. Uh, yes. But you tested positive or negative? Positive. And before? Uh, I do the test two weeks ago uh -huh. and I have negative. Really? And you had all the symptoms? Yes, but it's an antigen, mm -hmm. antigen test. Mm -hmm. And today I do the PCR test. Mm -hmm. and so that is, more, that is more reliable? Yes. Mm -hmm. I believe. More credible. <laughs> I believe so. <laughs> I think. I'm sorry to hear that again. You've been sick for two weeks. Uh, I think three weeks. This is the third one. Yes, this is Jesus my Jesus Christ. Week. That is your Christmas bonus. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> Poor Adriana. This was not the very good ending of the year. No. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah. Because I, I see some people recover soon because Hector is feeling better now, he says. Well, yesterday he participated already in class. Yes. Mm -hmm. Carlos is not feeling well either. Neither Carlos nor... Irma, Mayra, uh -huh, I think. Lucy. They tell me. Yeah. Wendy like was feeling better. Yeah, I, I heard yesterday she was feeling better. <clears throat> oh it's very hard to know about that because if we, we have to be careful um, with the uh, practice. Um, for example, in my work, uh, uh, it's a recommendation to use the max, but yes. people don't, doesn't understand. They want to to come into the uh, buy something without mask. Without mask, exactly. Many people are not wearing it. Yeah, in yes. my job, and got all the kids to wear it. As I was telling somebody yesterday, that they see it. That, I mean, wearing a mask is kind of a protection, not only from the virus, because for teenagers, yes, it's kind of a protection that they can hide their insecurities. So they don't want to show, I mean, the more covered they can be, the best for them. You know, they even wear a hoodie, like a sweater, and mask, and glasses. Sometimes they say, okay, are you there? <laughs> but it's in person, and it's, and it's great that they protect themselves. Yes, but and still, and still, some kids were feeling ill, were feeling bad. And tomorrow we have a very important test. And some of them already sent the, the document from the, from the doctor that they cannot go, they cannot attend. So, oh. yeah, we probably will have to reschedule the test for them. Well, anyways, yes. we have to follow, follow, follow these instructions. The procedures that we used to follow in 2020, I know. It's the third year, 2020, 2021, and 2022 is like the third year. We have to follow all these instructions of protecting ourselves. Yeah. And of course, being careful. Yes, the people we relate to, the places we go to, the um, vitamins that we have to take, and how careful we have to be with our hands, washing our hands very often, using the gel. Yes. So I think that's the most important. But yes, I think this 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 time the virus has hit stronger than before. 
is this this new variant of this of, of the virus uh, uh supposedly is, is more dangerous than yeah, the other i heard because omicron was the last one right in january or february but people get like maybe uh flu for three days four days and then they recover but this time people are suffering more yes. so we have to be really careful really really careful yeah, it's the name, the, the dog of the hell. Imagine. <laughs> it's more aggressive. <laughs> All right. Well, good evening, everyone. If you want to text something on the chat, please do it. Say how you feel. Say how was your day. I mean, how your day was. Say what your progress on the platform. Please do it. <laughs> I already finished. Nice, congrats. Yeah. The ones the ones that already finished were get a bonus for Christmas. Already. <laughs> okay. Sponsored by yourself. <laughs> now we'll get a bonus of, of feeling relief. <laughs> of feeling that you don't owe anything. <laughs> we'll get the, the the relief feeling that would be the bonus. That they yeah. oh yeah, I got it. I did it. So that would be the bonus. But yes, we need you to do it ASAP as soon as possible. Um, I know you've been working hard on that in some of the topics we haven't studied them, but uh, make the progress as much as you can. At least unit three should be completed, midterm should be completed, and start making progress on unit four as much as you can. So that by the end of this week we are done with the platform on saturday i'm gonna pass the grades because they are requesting for the grades to be registered so please work hard work hard hey vitalia good evening i see two messages only from isabel good evening everyone and from vitalia hi and the other messages hi este, fíjese que quizás solo voy a estar de oyente porque hoy es el carnavalito aquí en la colonia y estoy a un costado, no han comenzado todavía. <risa> no sé, en cierta no cámara, nada. muestre cómo va el carnaval. <risa> Llévenos al carnaval a través de Zoom. No, <risa> no hombre, usted que desperdicia la oportunidad. <risa> I'm just kidding, Vitelli, it's all right. Al WhatsApp le voy a mandar porque la cámara no me funciona. Ay, so sad. Yo pensaba que iba a ser así, so streaming ya aquí en la clase. Entonces, no, quizás no pueda participar porque no voy a escuchar muy bien por el ruido. Ok, and when is the official day of the carnival? Excuse me? When is the official day of the carnival in San Miguel? When? Uh, next week, next weekend? It's on 21? On the 21st. <gasps> really? Oh, no, it's not the 21. It's the, the holiday. Oh, the 21. Carnival. Yes, and yes. The carnival is the last Saturday of of November. November. Yes, ah, November. Para uh, this para case para. is on the <laughs> November 26th. The 26th, before, <laughs> before Thanksgiving. It's true. Uh, thank you, Nuris. Oh. I, I <laughs> forgot. Okay. That. I, 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 I played uh, another celebration that we have in the church, for example. Ah, that is the official uh, date of the holiday. The official day of the holiday. The holiday is the 21. Mm -hmm. 21, yes. Okay, nice. You see? No, it is defending the honor of San Miguel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I defend my classmates. <laughs> I can see that Vitalia live in San Nicolas, eh, Barrio San Nicolas. Mm -hmm. Look, And... Nuri has everything registered. <laughs> Bien traqueado los tiene. Oh, Maya, no. ahí, ahí se recuerda de, <laughs> de invitar a Nuri for Christmas. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Porque es lo thank que you. Aquí en la clase. <laughs> okay, nice. Actually, you can meet. 
That would be great. You can invite us. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's go okay. to San Miguel for carnival. I don't like carnival. You don't go. There are too many people. And noisy uh, <laughs> and crazy <laughs> and wild. Yeah. And people go wild like, like Rio de Janeiro. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> different but <laughs> wow it sounds interesting probably just for curiosity yes it's interesting uh -huh. mm -hmm. i would go i've never been to a carnival actually never never mm -hmm. but it would be great actually yeah you won't be disturbed by the carnival because we finished the 21st and you will have the carnival on the 26th so that's okay yeah, but the 21st is the official day, you say, so maybe you will go too. <laughs> okay. okay. All right, let's have the attendance taken. But thank you. Thank you for the cultural tip here, okay? I do appreciate it. You know, sometimes it's, it's kind of embarrassing that we don't know from our own country. <laughs> It's geography sometimes, tradition sometimes that we don't know. Today is Wednesday, right? The 16th. Yes. The 16th of November. Adriana. Present teacher. Carlos. I'm being listener, I think. All right. Thank you. All right, Carlos, not here. Feeling sick, probably. Uh -huh. Christina? Present oh. Hey, how are you feeling now? <laughs> um, más o menos, sorry. <laughs> okay. Not so good. <laughs> All right, Elsie. Elsie, Elsie. Elsie dealing with her issues, internet issues. Fatima? Present teacher. How are you? How are you doing? Good. All right, Ferman. Not yet. Hector. Present teacher. How are you feeling? I'm fine. I'm fine. Really Great. fine. Nice. You recover already. Color. Did you recover already? Recover. Recover, se recuperó. Ah, uh, um, think. But to the. I don't one, say. Hmm? To the one hundred percent, ninety, eighty. Mm, ninety. Ninety. Ninety point. Ninety point five. <laughs> 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 okay. But my 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 camera is broke, teacher. Really? It's like a, a movie, a Pedro Infante movie. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Cuándo le ha movido algún algún uh, blur? Porque Maybe en I, 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 las opciones de background dice blur my background, choose virtual background, choose video filter. Uh, I I. Uh, I, como se decía, he estado intentando. I, I've been no. trying. I've been trying. I've been, I've been trying to to uh, uh -huh. fix to fix the camera. Right, but but they hate hate me. <laughs> it hates you. <laughs> yeah, maybe later you will fix it. Don't worry. Technology, you know, Thank you. it's unexpected. <laughs> yeah, but we all <laughs> learn to deal with technology. That's great. All right, okay. Isabel, Present. tell us something about today, Isabel, because it's been a while, we don't listen to you. Oh, good. Huh? Oh, good this day. It was oh, a good day? Yes. Oh, thank God. So you got home earlier today? Um, yes. What time um, did you get home? At uh, six and a half hours. Six and a half. What's good? Good time? Yeah. Nice. All right. Catherine? Present teacher. 
Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Do we know you, Catherine? Sorry? Have you ever shown on camera? Sorry, teacher. I don't know. We never okay. see you on the camera. Ah, uh, the most of the time I am driving. So for really? that reason, yes. You have to be really careful. Yes, uh, for that you... reason. No, it's okay. <laughs> because but where... the camera is moving, moving. I know, I know. All the time. <laughs> where do you Where do you drive from? Uh, San Salvador to Luquilta, and some cases. Um, in the Zacate Coluca. From Zacate Coluca to Olopilda too. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, be careful because I I had a group at the beginning of the year that I had a, a participant that used to drive from San Salvador to Aguilares every day. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah it's be very careful. complicated because uh, there are a lot of traffic. I know, and be careful because yes. sometimes you know, the other cars, you just feel like the flashlight and you cannot see anything, so be careful. Yes. Eh, más con unas nuevas lamparitas que no sé quién es, dijo, pónganle. <laughs> and that is that illegal. Tras, sí. De acuerdo, el dice ministerio es illegal. Pero como yes. dicen ustedes. Mm. Cas vision, but I know. It should todo be... buen salvadoreño. Exactly, only inventing. Para lo, para lo bueno no inventamos. Es too long. I know. Why is too long to be careful? <laughs> And the car is very small. I know. Be careful, careful. Lucy. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling good. And you? How are you? Pretty good, thank you. Yes, today we had a different day. We had different activities. Because tomorrow my students from the foundation have the TOEIC certification. Oh, so interesting. Today, yes, <laughs> today, today we had board games, we had um, guessing games, we had a movie and snacks. So we tried to do different encouraging activities for the, for the teenagers. And tomorrow they should come ready just to have the test. And some other are not coming because they are having avanzo and their test is going to be postponed for next week. So we are doing different activities, but very interesting and engaging. Very, for the very busy day for you. Very, <laughs> very busy. <laughs> but the students enjoy, they enjoy, they have fun. So that was, I mean, it was like really cool to see them enjoying. All right, Maida. Present. How was your day? Fine. Fine. <laughs> Nuri. Present teacher. A busy day, a normal day, an average day? Uh, normal day. Normal, okay. Pasa Great. normal day. Roberto Carlos. Present teacher. How was your day? Fine teacher. Right. The traffic is Terrible. I know. Uh, it's San Salvador, right? Yes. Yeah. Traffic is horrendous. I mean, from now on till December and the Christmas and the holidays, it's going to be terrible. Sam is not here today. Yeah, it's quiet because Sam is not here. <laughs> okay, you can tell the difference. <laughs> All right. I don't know what happened to Sam. Okay, Victoria says she will be maybe just listening because of the <laughs> carnival. <laughs> and Walter. Present. You were in class yesterday. Or you couldn't? Um I couldn't. Ah, yes. What happened at the end? Um, I was trouble with my uh, my with my laptop. Uh, It's still having issues with the laptop. Yes. Why um, don't I, you Why don't you ask a friend or a partner to help you? Six. Yes, I actually, uh, I have 
uh, to connect with a cell phone and, mm -hmm. uh, and with another uh, laptop because mm -hmm. the laptop that I use right now, it, it doesn't work out. Mm -hmm. That's why. But at the beginning, it was working, right? Yes, at the beginning, yes. Uh, what, what could have happened? Um, I'm not sure, but uh, suddenly uh, it, it started working. It stopped to, to work. Mm. <laughs> like you said before, uh, technology is... <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's unpredictable, definitely. Yes, I have seen that a lot of my, my students also from the foundation have issues with the laptops they receive because some of the uh -huh, some of these laptops are very breakable because you know very uh, easy to 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 that to get damaged. I I think the the engineer that is at the foundation told them that there is a connection that is so so easy to to damage. He said that is so sensi sensible sensitive sorry, sensible I guess. So that any little touch they make on any, any little pressure, it I mean the, the electricity stops going through the laptop, so if the laptop stops working. I don't know why, but it's uh, uh maybe they, they have a, a warranty. Because... They uh -huh, they supposed to have guarantee and they are supposed to return it, but they don't want to return it. They prefer to look for a solution because they say that if they take it to the place they are supposed to. The laptop has been there for about six months and they cannot do that because they need those laptops like every single day. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hopefully you can fix yours, okay? Look for a te good technician. Yes. Now there are a lot of technicians that like to do that, like to open laptops. <laughs> All right, Wendy. No, Wendy here. Hi, teacher. Hey, how are you? And Irma. Aquí atragantándome. <laughs> having dinner. Dinner ahorita. Vaya, having dinner. Okay. Swallowing dinner. <laughs> and Irma not here? Yes. Thanks. She's not here. Cannot listen to Irma. All right. Oh, about about the, how do you say buen provecho? Because Enjoy. I say bon appetit, but bon appetit is in, in French. Yeah, bon appetit is French, but in English they usually say enjoy. Enjoy your lunch, enjoy your dinner, enjoy your breakfast, enjoy your coffee, enjoy your bread. Whatever the person is eating, you can say enjoy. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy your coffee. <laughs> es que lo disfruten, literal, because yeah. one appetite is more French and they don't have a, a specific expression for that. Because one appetite in Spanish, buen provecho sounds similar, actually. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. But that's more Romance language, not English. <laughs> no Anglo-Saxon language. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice. Great. It feels so great to have a conversation with you. It is nice that everybody participates, actually. Vamos a ver. Vamos a hacer un pequeño, una pequeña actividad para que recuerden lo que estuvimos viendo en la clase de ayer, para que hagan un refresh. Okay? Obviously, we're going to do with the small groups. Traten de decirle a su partner what you remember from yesterday's class. If the person could not attend the class, then you will refresh the person's memory about the class. All right, let's go.
imagen. Ayer no pude entrar, no sé si alguien me podría compartir qué fue lo que estuvieron viendo. Um, I remember we saw the monitoring personnel and and, and we then practice the conversation the, the, as a Okay. Uh, training the, the servers and identify the their skills and knowledge. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Mayra? Eh, ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Hello, Mayra. ¿Qué eh, vamos a hacer? Eh, say something about the, the last class, the yesterday class. Lo que nos acordemos de lo que vimos en la clase. I remember the steps uh, for training. Uh, number one, analyze the job. Number two, get the uh, for this question, the answer I remember is uh, the customer having to wait for too long time. Yes. Mm -hmm. For the question number number three, three is what staff will receive training. Um, I remember the staff <clears throat> server, staff server and cashier in the training. And the last one, what step will, will Alex and Rick take for the training? I remember that. Yeah, with the steps to to create a, or, or implement our training uh -huh. and evaluate mm -hmm. um, uh, the, the department. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also practice the, the verbs in participle mm -hmm. um, make a game make a what game a game yep mm -hmm. a little little game yes funny funny game or practice the verb irregular, irregular verb People haven't returned yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Nice. What day is today? Mm -hmm. Today is Wednesday. Yes. Wednesday 16, November 16, 2020. November 16th of 2022. That's right. And this is our class number 20. 20, 20, 20, no, 22, okay, <laughs> okay, 22 of how many? Uh-huh, 
This is our class 22 out of... ¿Cuántas son en total? 25, teacher. 25, yes. Really? Really. <laughs> so, después de esta, ¿cuántas les quedan? Three more classes. Yes. Three. <laughs> Three. Ya yeah, pueden empezar a celebrate now. <laughs> goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> We're gonna miss you. <laughs> ya yeah, pueden celebrate. Están despachados hasta next year. Oh. Monday is the last. Exactly. Monday is the last class, teacher. True. Sí, no, nos habíamos percatado. All right, let's get to the topic. Yes, we've been talking about training personnel and the steps to follow to decide a good training. We started this conversation yesterday, yes, in which Alex is telling Rick that he hired a dishwasher. And the dishwasher he hired a month ago wanted to know how to get promoted. And of course, he's asking about training opportunities, right? So we practice with this conversation. Then you discuss the questions with your partner. And then you order these steps in order to organize a training. All right, then we started talking about this vocabulary right and we match the vocabulary with the definition with the meaning but pero como yo sé que ustedes todavía se recuerdan ya ahorita me van a dar otra vez los numbers para refrescar to refresh a quality that makes someone suitable for a particular job que dijimos que era Don't tell me. <laughs> Didn't take notes. A desired result of possible outcome. Okay. A quality that makes someone suitable for a particular job. Una qualification. It's on qualification. So that is number, number six. 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 Exactly. Cuando alguien está calificado para hacer un trabajo en particular, that is that this person has this qualification, right? Mm -hmm. An estimation of income and expenses. Budget. The budget. Number three. Number three. Con ustedes en su casa responsablemente dicen, vamos a hacer el budget para diciembre. Porque mm -hmm. hay que guardar para January. Y mm -hmm. eso es saber administrar su house también y los recursos de su casa. Porque si no es como, ah, it's party time, it's December, it's Christmas. Y en January, may I have a dollar? So it's not possible, right? So we do that because we are the administrators of the resources in our house. Si no, en January andamos ahí como que somos beggars. Y eso es difficult porque se siente tan largo. Homeless. <laughs> Homeless or beggars, exactly. <laughs> okay. Helpful information or criticism about the performance of a person. Uh -huh. ¿Qué dijimos que era eso? Lo dejemos de tarea, es true. Ajá, vaya, ¿qué, ¿qué se les ocurre que es? Knowledge gap. Knowledge gap. Helpful information or criticism mm -hmm. about the performance of, an, of a person. Y el otro también se parece. The process of improving the performance of an employee. Yo creo que 
helpful information or criticism about the performance of a person sí, creo que ese es el feedback uh -huh. cuando usted le da retroalimentación o una crítica sobre el desempeño uh -huh. it should be feedback number two uh -huh. Y luego, the process of improving the performance of an employee. O al revés. Sí, number two, the process. Ajá, ese sería, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Vaya, deshagamos esto. Entonces, aquí ponemos el knowledge gap, ¿sería el four? Yes. Veamos, pues. Sí. Que es como bastante parecido. Cuando tenemos un knowledge gap, falta de conocimiento de algo. Pero sí, creo que... Tiene razón, Mayra. Va más como en eso, en un proceso para hacer que alguien mejore un performance. En el caso de los employees. A desired result or possible outcome. Un resultado Good. deseado. Ajá. O, sí, or possible outcome. Un resultado. Ok, eso sería el goal. O el objective, right? And an irregular balance of what a person should know. Discussion. Coach. Ah, solo no, no sobró el coaching, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Vale, entonces sí. An irregular balance of what a person should know es el, es el, es el dos. De hecho, este es, este es el... el no, perdón. No, este es el knowledge. Es el knowledge gap. Sí. An irregular balance. Bueno, lo vamos a hacer otra vez porque aquí ya nos hicimos old bolas. Bye. A quality that makes someone suitable for a particular job. Ya hemos dicho que es la qualification. Six. Ahí vamos bien. An estimation of income and expenses is budget number three. Ahí estamos bien. Bueno, vamos a dejar. Eh, voy a dejar en, eh, los tres que son un poquito confusos. Vamos a ver. A desire result. Este era el number one, que es el goal. Y an irregular balance of what a person should know. O sea, eso es lo que, lo que le falta a una persona. Algo que debería saber. Esto es el el knowledge gap, aquí tenemos el cuarto. Yes, entonces, ¿cuáles nos faltan? El 2 y el 5, ¿verdad? 2 and 5. Entonces, helpful information of criticism about a performance of a person and the process of improving the performance of an employee. ¿Sí estamos bien? Era el 2 acá, el feedback y el proceso de mejorar el desempeño de un employee es un coaching. Aquí estaría el 5. Así es. ¿Ya? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That should be. Vale, vamos a practicar un poco el vocabulary. Vamos a ver. Traten de irlo leyendo ustedes, aunque no enciendan el micrófono, pero a la hora de que les pregunte si lo pueden leer. Right? Ok, goal, a desired result or possible outcome. Feedback, helpful information or criticism about the performance of a person. Budget, an estimation of incomes and expenses. Knowledge gap, an irregular balance of what a person should know. Coaching, the process of improving the performance of an employee. And qualification, is a quality that makes someone suitable for a particular job. Yes? All right. Questions, questions? No questions? But 
Traten de tomar screenshot. Or I can do it actually. Let me see. Mm. Okay, let me, let me do something right here. Really, really quick. Uh -huh. Okay. So let's practice the vocabulary with a partner. And let me just open the same rooms. Okay, I try. Oh, ah, no puedo compartir todavía. Oh. ¿Qué estaban haciendo antes? Porque De, de, de la primera parte solo fue eh, hacer un recordatorio de lo que vimos ayer. Ah, ok, ok. Mm -hmm. Perfecto. Y ahorita solo va a ser realmente... Practice de... Practice, ok. Mm -hmm. okay. We have para, to read. We have para to read no, the... no perder el hilo. <ríe> mm, Exacto. Con eso yo. Ok, wow. so you are... Formal. Yeah. Sleepy. <laughs> a desired result or possible outcome. Perma. Okay. Te tocan todas para que después pronunciemos nosotros. <laughs> ah, exactly. <laughs> I need <Okay>, coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, feedback. Helpful information or criticism. Okay, who's next? Okay. Seria go go at the series result or possible out to oh outcome. 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 Num Num number. Number. <laughs> okay. Uh, five Feedback, ¿verdad? Eh, number two, feedback. Feedback. Feedback mm -hmm. help you information or Chris, Chris. Ahí le puede decir criticism o criticism. Criticism about the performance of a person. Number three, budget. 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 And the, the destination of income and expense. expenses. 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 Uh, for go get gap. Knowledge. Knowledge. Knowledge gap. Knowledge gap. Um, and um, in regular bands or or what a person should walk should know should know should know coach should know coach 
and the per the process of impro improving improving, improving the performance of uh employee uh -huh. in qualities i Quality. i what is it about the performance of a person mm -hmm. budget an estimation of income and expenses expenses knowledge gap is an irregular balance of what person should know. Number five, coaching. It's a process to improve the performance of an employee. 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 Uh -huh. Qualification is a quality that makes someone suitable for a particular job. Ok. Creo que la repasamos, ¿verdad? What is qualification? Sin ver. Qualification. Ah. And number, number one. A quality to make someone suitable for a particular job. Yes. But it's budget. It's an estimation of income and expenses. Okay. Mm. Who is feedback? Feedback. But feedback is a uh, helpful information or criticism as no sé cómo se criticism teacher no ya no está y ajá yo no puedo ver si yes, es criticism criticism ajá tiene que dar la m criticism criticism yes oh, criticism. <laughs> criticism exactly criticism criticism Criticism. Mm -hmm. uh, helping information or criticism about the performance of a person. Yes. Sure. Performance is 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 for um, actors when when they represent uh, I, I don't know a, a person. I don't know. O sea, dice, voy a hacer la performance, dicen en el, en el mal, mal inglés y peor el español. Suitable for a particular job. Ya. Yeah. Muy bien. Very good. Hay algunas palabras un poco. Uh, some words are very difficult. Yes, yes. Ejemplo, you, okay. you have a doubt okay. uh, the some words. I can uh, pronunciation for you if you want. Yeah. yeah. In the number two, uh, in the number two feedback, help helpful information or ¿Cómo se pronuncia Early. esa? Criticism. Ahí se puede decir criticism o criticism. Criticism. Or maybe it's, it's possible. Criticism o criticism. Okay. Esa tres se convierte en una R. Criticism. Otra palabra. Uh, and here's your significant of criticism. Crítica. Eh, criticism es como, como críticas que se hacen. Eh, por ejemplo, aquí dice. Críticas, críticas. 
Ajá, información de, de ayuda o, o crítica acerca de, de lo que hace una persona. Por ejemplo, un performance es, es una actividad que hace una persona. Hey. Hi. Ashes. Everything okay? Yes. So far so good. All right. Let's keep going then. Okay. <laughs> okay, more vocabulary actually. <laughs> Identify training opportunities for personal, label the description of the process with the right heading. Okay, this is just a vocabulary, but of course on the next slide we have the definitions or more description, right? Okay, it says analyze the job, identify personal score and skills and knowledge, identify training solutions, evaluate performing, performance sorry, after training, decide the skills and knowledge gaps. All right. This is something you have in here, you have the definitions. Right. Of course, let me just show you the way this is presented on your manual. Right here. It is presented just like this. It says identify training opportunities for personnel. Label the descriptions. Here we have the descriptions, right? And here we have the labels. Analyze the job. Identify personal current skills and knowledge. Identify training solutions, evaluate performance after training, decide skills and knowledge gaps. Okay, to start with, I'm gonna give you some minutes. Depende de leerlo. Obviously, there are new words, there's new vocabulary, but it's okay. Just let's try to have a look. Traten de leer las definitions y luego vemos cuál le corresponde a cada uno de ellos. Here's a lot, I know, a lot of work, okay? Teacher, improvement es como que lo necesita. Mejorar, hacer una mejora, ajá. Uh -huh. okay. sí. Vamos a escuchar primero a uh, number one, Walter. Leanos esta description. Okay. Please allow opportunities in areas of improvement where training is necessary to increase effectiveness. Decide there is a gap between the knowledge and skills of the staff. Ask employees what areas they need help with. Exactly. But I am sending an idea, right? A list all opportunities and areas of improvement where training is necessary to increase effectiveness. Decide if there is a gap between the knowledge and the skills of the staff. Ask employees what areas they need help with. ¿Cuál de estos procesos podría ser lo que estamos describiendo en el number one? Analyze the job. Analyze the job. Mm -hmm. ¿Alguien tiene alguna otra suggestion? Vale, dejémosla ahí porque igual puede ser que al leer las otras cambiemos de opinión. Ok, number two, Fátima. Find the best way to improve training, one-on-one -on -one coaching, short-term and long-term trainings and learning. 
decide the option that best fits the, the needs of your stand and company. Uh -huh. Find the best way to provide training. One on one coaching. One on one coaching, así como uno a uno, ¿verdad? O sea, de manera individual. Short term and long term trainings. O sea, podría ser entrenamientos cortos o largos. E learning, que, es, que conocemos en inglés como eh, video conferences o en. Eh, Cursos online, ¿verdad? E-learning. Decide the option that best fits the need of your staff and company. Y decidir lo que mejor se acople a su staff. Ok. A las necesidades de su staff y de su empresa. ¿Eso qué sería? My training solution. My training solution. Identify training solutions. Yes, definitely. Ya estamos viendo todas las alternativas, ¿verdad? Bye. Nuri, number three. Ok. Ask staff members to use a checklist and evaluate the progress. Look at the work area and check if there is still evidence of a Deficiency. Deficiency. In, the deficiency in skill or knowledge. Or knowledge. Uh -huh. Ask a staff member to use a checklist, right? And evaluate their progress. Look at the work area and check if there is still evidence of deficiency in skills or knowledge. It's okay in the assent. Mm -hmm. Any idea? Find the best way to provide training. No. Ask staff members to use a checklist and I will take progress. Lo dejamos también pending. Bye. Evaluate performance. Uh -huh. Ajá. staff to use a checklist. Generalmente las listas de cotejo se usan para evaluar, ¿verdad? En evaluate their progress. Ok. Vale. Veamos. Somebody else. Uh, Ferma, number four. Observe what the employee does well and what needs improvement. Check for qualification training course and responsibilities from previous position, positions. Get more individual information from human research. Okay, observe what the employee does well and what needs improvement. Check for qualifications, training, courses, and responsibilities from previous positions. Get more individual information from human resources. Eso que sería. Identify personal current skill and knowledge. Mm -hmm. Identify personal current skills and knowledge. Se está observando qué es lo que hace bien y qué es lo que necesita mejorar. Buscar sus qualifications, training, courses, and responsibilities from previous positions, right? And number five, veamos quién fue colaborar y saber. Ya no fue, ¿sabes? Where did you go? <ríe> bueno, entonces, Mr. Hector. Um, discuss and describe the responsibilities of the position with the employees. 
write down indicator of knowledge and skill to match the position. Identify the process change in the description. Right. Discuss and describe the responsibilities of the position with the employees. Write down indicators of knowledge and skill that match the position. Identify the process change in the description. What they were suggesting? Era bonita que no sobraba. Uh -huh. Ninguna no sobra. Oh my god. <laughs> Which one? Size is still a knowledge cut. No. Okay. Detalles, skills, and knowledge gaps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gap, teacher, gap is uh, como brecha, como. Un vacío, ajá, una brecha. O sea, pero ¿cómo se le dice a eso? ¿Se le dice este. incertidumbre? No. No, mm -hmm. falta de. Yo pensaría, porque. Es... No, 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 perdón, no hay incertidumbre de que crea una incertidumbre, sino que un parámetro. Ajá. Ok. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, parámetro. por ejemplo, usted dice, puede ser también diferencias. Ah, ah, por okay. ejemplo, ajá, usted dice, ah, esta persona sí está bastante calificada, pero esa parte le falta cubrirla. Ese es un gap, un vacío de algo. Ok. Uh, yes. For example, in teaching, ya yeah, maybe teachers sometimes have a lot of qualifications, a lot of trainings. But when it comes to technology, they are not really good at. So they have the technology gap. Right. Esa era la única que nos faltaba. Desire skills and knowledge gaps. Yep. Mm -hmm. Write down indicator. That match the position, rate by the position. Pero habíamos dejado la primera sin resolver, o ya la habíamos decidido. Ah, uh, here is a design skill. By at least all opportunities in areas of improvement. Vamos a hacer un listado de todas las áreas de oportunidades y de mejora. Where training is necessary, donde se necesita un entrenamiento. To increase effectiveness, para increase, incrementar la efectividad. Decide if there's a gap. Decidir si hay una gap between the knowledge and the skills of the staff. Entre el conocimiento y las habilidades del, del staff. Ask employees what areas they need help with. Y preguntarle a los empleados en qué área necesitan ayuda. Maybe it's evaluate performance of the training. Mm. Pero ahí todavía no se ha dado ningún training. Ajá. Pisa y esquina de nobles. Ajá, esta sería ajá, la primera. Yeah. Y en la última sería. The option, please. <laughs> <laughs> eh, identify training solution. La hice yo. The last one. Analyze the job. Ah, ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Discuss and describe the responsibilities of the position with the employees. Break down indicators of knowledge and skill that match the position. Identify the process change in the description. Uh -huh. Eso sería. Bueno, I know, requires a lot of concentration. Porque it's a lot of vocabulary. And probably we are not very familiar with. This is a behind. Todavía tenemos una lección más para seguir describiendo esto, so don't worry. Vamos a hacer una pausa because of the second attendance I haven't taken y luego lo vamos a ver a seguir dando duro. All right. <laughs>
Sí. ¿Han llegado a esa parte en la, en la platform? No yet. No yet. Oh God. Ahorita casi. <ríe> Give me one second. Okay. Okay, Adriana. Carlos continues sick. Christy. Present. Elsie. Present teacher. Fatima. Present teacher. Germán. Present teacher. Hector. Present. Isabel. Present. Catherine. Present teacher. Lucy. Present. Y Mayra. Present. Yuri. Present teacher. Roberto. Present teacher. Por alguna razón no puedo entrar. Sam, no puedo. Vitelia. Ya puso el párnaba. Walter. Wendy. Irma sigue mal. Creo que Irma había escrito, right? She wrote. Ok. All right. All right. Perfect. Veamos. Share the screen. Mm -hmm. No, this one. Ve, esta página, la siguiente, les puede ayudar muchísimo a tratar de hacer la relación mejor. Dice, use the process in the previous page to determine your skills and knowledge at work. Decide if you need to go to training and what training solutions would you prefer. Analyze the jobs. What activities do I need to perform in my job? ¿Qué actividades necesito hacer en este trabajo? Okay, identify my current skills and knowledge. What specific skills do I need to perform my job, am I skilled to perform my job? Ok, como, ¿qué habilidades específicas necesito para realizar mi trabajo? Y si soy lo suficientemente habilidosa para desarrollar ese trabajo, right? Beside skills and knowledge gaps, are there any skills I lack and that could help me to do my job better? Si hay algunas habilidades de las cuales carezco que me podrían ayudar a hacer mi trabajo de mejor manera. And identify training solution, que creo que es el bien obvio. What type of training program would be helpful to develop the skills I lack? ¿Qué tipo de programa de entrenamiento me podrían ayudar a desarrollar esas habilidades que aún me faltan? What are some training solutions? That do not conflict with my work schedule. ¿Cuáles son algunas alternativas que no entran en conflicto con mis horarios de trabajo o my personal life? Online programs, on the job training, mentoring, y eso. Esto ya lo hacen como para que ustedes estén analizando, digamos, como su performance o qué tipo de training podrían tener. Pero les da pistas para que vean cuál realmente es cada una de las descripciones y los training opportunities, ¿ya? ¿Sí estamos? Vale, le puedo dar chance Listo. para yes, que bye. lo practique. <ríe> ok, practice leyendo cabal el encabezado y la descripción. Yes. Veamos. Ahora checalo si están bien. Vamos a recrear nuevamente los groups. All right.
está cargando con el... Vale, ahí está ya en el grupo si sí, ya lo logra ver sí ya ya pues ok me puse aquí una una cosa figura para que yo me cayera ahí Ahí se puso de acuerdo con la, con la abuela de la Bibi. Vos te pusiste de acuerdo con la Bibi. Hasta cuando me pusiste la almohada. Esa es su pantalla, ¿verdad, Perma? No, es la de Mayra, ahorita la estoy viendo ahí. No, no, no. <ríe> Hola, Mayra. Hello. Quizá no nos escucha. Ajá, pero como que tiene abierto el micrófono, ¿vale? No, ahorita lo tengo abierto. Ahí estoy bien. Ah, okay. Sí, ahí está bien. Sí, sí, claro. ¿Esto era? Sí, eso era. Uh -huh. Ok. ¿Qué Dice vamos a hacer? Que... Leerlo o analizarlo. Usa el proceso. Solution. What type? Los training programs will be helpful to develop, develop, develop the skill I lack. What are some training solutions that do not conflict with my work schedule and my personal life? Online programs, on the job training, methoding. Okay. Next. Me. Analyze the job. What activities do I need to perform in my job? Identify my current skill and, and knowledge. What specific skill do I need to perform my job? Am I skilled to perform my job? Decide skill and, and knowledge gaps. Are there any skill I lack and that could help me do my job better. Identify training solution. What type of training program would be helpful to develop the skill I lack? What are some training solutions that do the space to determine your skill and knowledge at work? Decide if you need to go to training and what training solution would you prefer? Uh -huh. I analyze the job. What activities do I need to perform in job? Uh, for example, in my case, in my job, uh, maybe we need more training about the equipments that we have. For example, the um, different kind of devices for mixing, for because it's it's requirement for, for us to know about the different equipment that that we sell. Mm -hmm. in, in my in my case, in my case, I. Are perform programs and programs and development in Java language uh, every day. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. um, I, uh, bueno, now. Eh, eh, estoy realizando, how do you say? Estoy realizando. Um, could be I'm realized. Uh -huh. I'm realizing, realizing uh, a system for ANDA. Uh -huh. For ANDA. 
and and, and before system for Ministerio de Hacienda uh -huh. and relation for taxes um, only one <laughs> okay but you receive uh, training about that uh, training um, more or less in, and the training is personal. Okay. <laughs> it's yeah. personal training. It's personal in, in the web, the course, and you see, it's, it's personal, the training. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Number two. Identify my current skill and knowledge. What specific skill do I need to perform my job? I'm skilled in my home. The seal skills and knowledge gaps. Are there any skills I lack and that could help me do my job better? Identific tra identify training solution. What type of training program will be helpful to develop the skill I lack? What are some training solutions that do not conflict with my work schedule? I'm in person personal life. Online programs, on the job training, mentoring, Identify the training solution. Why? Hi, teacher. Hello. Hoy sí estamos perdidos. Está ah, difícil, number one. We are, we are lost. Luso, ¿cómo se dice? Lost. Lost. <laughs> really. Yeah. Tanto que Germán quiere control de la ira, quiere ya. Cabal. Ah, se está. <laughs> lo ve enojado. <laughs> ok, ¿cuál es la dificultad? ¿Qué? Es que no entendemos realmente la actividad, Tiche. ¿Qué es lo que necesitamos? Si indicar. Yo entiendo que lo que está ahí es como lo que hace el Analyze Joe. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, que, pero, pero, pero yo... Ajá, dale, May. Es que yo lo veo desde el punto de vista que estás analizando tu área, tu trabajo, y lo vas a, a, a encontrar tus, tus actividades que necesitas mejorar para poderle dar seguimiento a los siguientes puntos para los... Uh -huh. para los training pero prácticamente hacer... ajá, analyze jobs literalmente solo saber qué es lo que usted necesita hacer en su trabajo ah pues describir mi trabajo ajá describir o en el vaya cuando usted analiza cuáles son las actividades que necesita que son como mínimo requisito que debe poder hacer que debe tener la capacidad o las habilidades para desarrollar Leer y escribir, así cosas así. Su marido. Pero esto fue muy básico, hermano. Su, que... su marido resta. Y que eso va a depender también de cada trabajo. Ajá, eso es de la ya... eso... Ah, eso ya está como sobreentendido. Pero, por ejemplo, en mi trabajo, algo que yo debería poder hacer, un ejemplo, es manejar grupos. ¿Right? Hey. Group management, eso es como ya sobreentendido, ¿verdad? pero ya propio del área. Entonces, en su caso, deben haber como así habilidades muy específicas de su área que ya se sabe que usted debería poder hacer. Eso es analizar el trabajo. Ah, ah, pues. Y el otro, cuando ya le dicen identify current skills and knowledge, eso es como, uh -huh. ¿qué es lo que necesito? ¿Cuáles habilidades son las que necesito para poder realizar este trabajo? Y que si soy lo suficientemente hábil. O sea, al inicio solo es como, ¿qué, 
¿Qué es el trabajo? ¿Qué es lo que se necesita hacer en ese trabajo? Las otras que saber, ok, tengo yo esas habilidades, sí lo puedo hacer. Ok. Uh -huh. uh, bueno, por ejemplo, en uno de, en el caso de mi trabajo, para mi puesto, una de las cosas bien importantes es identify eh, kinds, materials, uh -huh. eh, como se dice, virgen, eh, oh, raw, raw, matter, raw, raw material. material. Raw material. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Vaya, eso es algo que se debe hacer en ese trabajo. Y yeah. después usted analiza y dice, ajá, identifico, sí, cuáles son mis habilidades actuales. ¿Puedo hacerlo? ¿No puedo hacerlo? ¿Me cuesta? ¿O soy hábil? ¿Ya soy un experto? Yes, yeah, teacher. No, of course. <risa> <risa> Vaya y así va como un poquito en creciendo, porque la tercera dice, ajá, y ahora decida. ¿Cuáles habilidades, conocimientos? O sea, ¿cuáles hay como un gap ahí? ¿En cuáles se necesita mejorar? ¿En qué necesito mejorar? Uh -huh. eh, análisis uh, espectrofotométrico, ah. pero no sé cómo se dice esa cosa. <risa> No, de verdad, ¿por qué? Porque nunca habíamos escuchado ese trabajo. Espectro, con, espectro, no, espectrométrico. Espectrofotométrico. Ah, espectrofotométrico. Sí. Entonces, okay. usted hace el análisis del, de, eh, de la materia prima uh -huh. y aparece un espectro ahí. Uh -huh. Entonces, usted mide... Espectro. Sí, aparecen unos, así, unas rayitas, unos piquitos, y usted, dependiendo la altura... La base. Ajá, de, entonces de usted espectro. dice, vaya, aquí tengo un gap, como que aquí hay una oportunidad de mejora. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Identifico cuál es mi gap. Y luego, ¿Eh? buscar las alternativas para obtener un training en esa área que necesito mejorar y poder tomar el training. Ok. Eso es todo. I need mejorar, se dice, teacher. Improve. Improve my English. <risa> <risa> Pero en esa área no estaba hablando, se está hablando de la otra área, no fue un Ok, Mayra, ¿Ya? es tu turno. Sí, ya, hoy sí, teacher. Un análisis completo de todo. Así como un examen de conciencia en su trabajo. Yo voy a poner paz. Es una máquina. Estar computed. Está temblada. De, de, de volcano es, eh, ¿cómo se dice? Oh. Gases. Es doing erupción. Ajá. Uh -huh. Almost is doing erupción. Okay. Really? Está desgasificándose. Not close for your home. In near from my home. The volcano. Near. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can see if I go to the street, I can see the volcano. <laughs> really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. They care. Very beautiful. Our volcano is no, the, the, the best, the, the, the most beautiful is best to the Santa Ana. Uh, no. Chapatiki is Ana. better than the Santa Ana volcano. <laughs> Yeah, it is is more beautiful. I think the chaparral. The form, the form is very, very, very hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's more beautiful. We finished, teacher. Teacher, solo era la práctica, verdad? Yes, practice the, the reading, try to match the concepts, and yes, exercise seven, eh, solo era para que les ayudara, como aclarar las ideas. Okay. All right.
All right. It's over. You finish? Yes. <clears throat> okay, perfect. Let's see. Let me just share the screen. Bye. ¿Cómo se sintieron? Ahí están expresando que se sentían perdidos. <laughs> Lost. Ok, ¿hicieron el match? Do you do the match? Mm, Analyze okay. the job, identify personal skills and skills in knowledge, identify training solutions, evaluate performance after training, decide the skills, decide the skills in knowledge gap. Vamos a ver. Lo que era el segundo que va a ser un poco más pequeño. Entonces podemos ver todos los conceptos y las opciones. Yeah, I think. You can do that. All right. Mm -hmm. List all opportunities in areas of improvement where training is necessary to increase effectiveness. Decide if there is a gap between the knowledge and the skills of the staff. Ask employees what areas they need help with. ¿Cuál decimos que era esto? Identify the skill. Okay, identify personal current skills and knowledge. Yes, I think so. Because yes. it's a list, it's a list, the, the skill and the knowledge. So it's list a lot of all opportunities. opportunities in areas of improvement. Estamos haciendo un listado de todas las áreas de mejora. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Analyze the job. Analyze the job. Vale, vamos a hacer quizá un poco de traducción. Dice listar todas las oportunidades y áreas de mejora donde un entrenamiento es necesario para mejorar la efectividad. Design. Decidir si hay un gap, si hay una brecha entre el knowledge y las habilidades, el conocimiento y las habilidades del staff. Ask employees what areas they need help with. Y preguntarle a los empleados en qué áreas ellos necesitan ayuda. Decide si quieren knowledge gaps. Yes, decidir cuáles son las habilidades y cuáles son... ¿Cuáles son sus habilidades y conocimientos CAPS? Okay. ¿Cuáles son sus faltas? ¿Cuáles son sus áreas en las que se pueda mejorar? Eso sería. Okay. Okay, two, find the best way to provide training. Encontrar la mejor forma de dar el training. Ya sea este one-on-one -on -one coaching, short-term or long-term training, e-learning, decide the option that best fits the needs of your staff and company. O sea, encontrar la mejor forma de dar el entrenamiento, ya sea esto de uno a uno, de corto o largo plazo, ya sea online, y cuál de, cuál es la mejor opción que cumpla o que ayude a las necesidades del staff en la compañía. Eso estaba fácil. Identify uh -huh. training solutions. Exactly. Identify training solutions next ask a staff member to use a checklist to evaluate their progress 
look at the work area and check if there is still evidence or deficiency in a skill or knowledge. Identify personal current skill and knowledge. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, identify personal current skills and knowledge. Ask a staff members okay, to use a checklist to evaluate their progress. Look at the work area and check if there's still evidence of deficiency in the skills or knowledge. Aquí sería Identify personal current skill No hay otra que, que, que Evidencia más esa No Evaluate perform After training uh -huh. Es que la otra está como sí. Observe what employees does Ajá uh -huh. Check for qualification training courses. Is. Check uh -huh. if there is still evidence. Will be. Uh -huh. Esa está como un poco uh -huh, entre esa y la otra, ¿verdad? Vaya, analicemos bien. La entre la dos, perdón, entre la tres y la cuatro. Ask staff members to use a checklist and evaluate their progress. Look at the work area and check if there's still evidence of deficiency in skills or knowledge. Y la otra es observe what the employee does. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then the number three is evaluate performance after training. Uh -huh. So just say checklist and evaluate their, their progress. Uh -huh. Para ver si hubo progreso después del training, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, esta sería evaluate. performance after a training. Okay. Or after training. All right. Y luego dice observe what the employees does. Mm -hmm. And what needs improvement? Check for qualification, training, courses and responsibility from previous position, get more individual information from human resources. Okay, in, in this case it is identify personal current skill and knowledge. Current skills. Mm -hmm. Okay, observe what the employee does. Yes, identify personal current skills. Porque eso es lo que está haciendo, ajá, lo que hace en, en, en tiempo real. O sea, y durante él lo está performance, el, la persona que lo está analizando lo está observando. So, identify personal current skills and knowledge. Okay, let me see. Personnels, in knowledge. All right, one second. All right, and discuss and describe the responsibilities of the position with the employees. Write down indicators of knowledge and skill that match with the position. Identify the process change in the description. Este definitivamente la que nos queda es. Analyze, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Analyze the job. 
En una traducción, seguía discutir cuáles son responsa las responsabilidades de, la, de esta posición, o sea, que el empleado debe hacer en esta posición de trabajo y escribir los indicadores de conocimiento y habilidades que vayan de acuerdo a la posición que se le está asignando, identificar el proceso que cambia en la descripción. Eso es, es like extra information, I don't know what it has to do with. All right. Entonces, practically, eso era lo que había que hacer. End of course, déjenme ver. Esto se puede ampliar un poco más. Yes, I think. Vaya. Incorporando ese vocabulary, obviamente, yo sé que hay un montón de palabras nuevas que seguramente no somos como muy familiar with, pero eso ya es como para hacer un análisis en su propia empresa, en su propia posición de trabajo. Dice, use the process in the previous page to determine your skills and knowledge at work. Es como más personal, creo yo. No podemos decir, ok, vamos a hacerlo todo juntos porque cada quien conoce su, sus fortalezas, sus áreas de mejora. Y obviamente también va a depender mucho del de tipo de trabajo al que nos dedique. ¿Ya? Decide if you need to go to a training and what training solutions would you prefer. Vaya, esto es como les decía, más de forma individual, más de forma personal. Usted dice... ¿Qué actividades son las que se necesitan? O sea, ¿cuáles actividades son las que necesito? En, en su caso, pues ya tienen el trabajo, pero ¿qué son las actividades que se necesita hacer en ese trabajo? ¿Cuáles son aquellas actividades que sí o sí se deben hacer? ¿Ya? Analyze the job. What activities do I need to perform my job? Pues para eso estamos en este trabajo, pues para hacer esas actividades. Entonces, como, como las actividades más obvias de propia de ese trabajo. Identify my current skills and knowledge. Luego que ya he descrito cuáles son las actividades que se deben hacer en esa posición de trabajo a la cual estoy asignado o a la cual se me ha confiado, identifico qué habilidades necesito tener para hacer ese trabajo y si soy lo suficientemente hábil para hacer ese trabajo. O lo hago con mucho esfuerzo, o con, mucho, o con mucha dificultad, ¿ya? O si se me da fácil, si ya tengo como mucha experiencia, mucha habilidad en eso, en lo que hago. Luego, decide skills and knowledge gaps. Esto también creo que algunos ya lo habían hecho, ¿verdad? En los grupos. Decide skills and knowledge gaps es como ver, analizar muy bien, hacer como una autoevaluación. Eh, y obviamente mencionar si yo necesito mejorar alguna habilidad propia de mi trabajo, obviamente, y si hay algún chance de, de mejora, obviamente, hay una habilidad o hay algo que yo digo, I lack of. Por ejemplo, por decirles algo, si en esos días la... La habilidad tecnológica en cualquier trabajo creo que es esencial. Entonces te dice, ay, a mí me cuesta eso. Yo creo que ahí hay una oportunidad de mejora. Entonces te dice, I lack of. O sea, me falta tener el conocimiento tecnológico, qué sé yo, propio del área de trabajo. Entonces yo veo que ahí hay una oportunidad de improve, de mejorar ese, ese skill o ese knowledge. Y eso obviamente, si yo lo mejoro, me va a ayudar a hacer mi trabajo de una mejor manera. Y luego, obviamente, identify training solution. Identificar las formas de recibir este training para mejorar esa habilidad que yo identifique que necesito ayuda. Con la cual necesito ayuda, ¿ok? What type, what type of training program would be helpful to develop the skill that I lack? What are some training solutions that do not conflict with my work schedule and my personal life, online programs, on the job training, mentoring? Todas estas son como diferentes alternativas, pero igual yo identifico cuál se me acomoda más por lo de 
obviamente el job schedule. Generalmente los trabajos que nos den la oportunidad de crecer o de entrenarnos en algo, no vamos okay, como a atropellar el horario de trabajo porque estoy en un entrenamiento. Oh, pues se pueden hacer excepciones, creo, pero no es como que toda la vida voy a estar, ah, estoy en training then. Entonces, tenemos que cuidar también esa parte. Eso ya lo habían hecho de forma personal, ¿alguien lo quiere compartir? Discuss your conclusion with a classmate. No lo habían hecho aún. Oh. No habían hecho la, la self-evaluation. No se habían ustedes visualizado. O dicen, ya no, ya no necesito mejorar nada. Aquí estamos. Break. <laughs> Siempre hay oportunidades de mejorar. Siempre podemos identificar alguna cosa que con la que decimos, ay, no estoy como muy tan, muy o tan complacido o tan satisfecho. Creo que debo mejorar esa parte. Alguien mencionó lo del inglés, actually. Lo pueden poner como un ejemplo. Es ok. Igual ya están haciendo algo, ya identificaron la solución de training. Yes, we discussed with a, with a my partners mm -hmm. this case, for example my partner uh, told me that about their job his job sorry mm -hmm. um, in his job he needs to learn more english because about technology mm -hmm. it's about technology and they need to to know about different kind of um uh, technology and and different kind of area they need to know english mm -hmm. In my case, for example, I need to improve um, uh, my skills about the uh, different kind of equipment that we receive in different. Mm -hmm. Because it's about technology too, because the equipment that, uh, is uh, for, for installation different. Mm -hmm. um, nowadays, uh, the equipment that we receive is uh, if about the, the software, about mm -hmm. the different kind of technology that we know, we know to, uh, and we need to train about that. Exactly. Va, entonces era como ir hablando de, de, de cada caso, ¿verdad? De cada caso en particular, porque igual todos tenemos quizás algún área en el que nos gustaría mejorar, pero va a ser o va a depender mucho de, de nuestra área de trabajo. Yes? All right. Bueno. Tenemos five more minutes para compartirlo. Vamos a compartir con alguien más. Porque es, si ya lo habían identificado, solo es cuestión de que se sinceren con sus partners y se lo cuenten. A nadie le vamos a contar, ¿ok? Don't worry. <laughs> It's okay. No. Está en un lugar seguro. It's a safe place, so you can, you can talk about it. Además, uno siempre sabe que mejorar is always important. Sí, debería hacerse la crisis. Leer de la garganta. Bastante. Pero no ha quedado fónica. Un, un poquito, pero he estado tomando bastantes cosas para la garganta, me ha ayudado. Ayer no podía hablar nada. El té de manzanilla, jengibre, pimienta gorda, eso le ayuda. Okay. Pero le han dado descanso, Cris, está yendo a no, trabajar todavía. Trabajando. Con te... sí. No le han dado incapacidad. <risa> no, por eso mañana voy a ver si voy al médico, a ver qué, qué tal. Vea, primero para que me den más medicamento y, y para ver si me dejan por...
en su caso. En mi caso, en la primera dice que realizo yo, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, qué actividades. My work um, activity um, asesora de venta. Okay. No sé cómo se dice. A mí siempre se me olvida y me lo ha dicho la teacher. Teacher. Uh -huh. Hi. ¿Cómo es que se dice asesora de ventas? A sales person. A sales person. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you. Alright. Um, a sales person. Cash, 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 este. Cajera, cashier. Sí, cashier. Um, activity de attention and your improve my my English improve uh -huh. improve my English mm -hmm. improve yes for me I like improve I want improve my my English and the vocabulary no knowledge creo que es también knowledge and the skill <laughs> yes in In my job, planes or may budgets for the projects. Uh, sometimes there are new programs to pull make better the 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 work. I think the budget, the planes, the organize the job. So many people in my area don't don't know how to program uh, the the task in the projects. There are a program, a specific program, to make uh, the programmation of the task, mm -hmm. the sequence of uh, activities, uh, how say. Um, what how to make first and the second uh, step for for example for make um anything of construction uh, mm. in my case i i try to very well my this program but but too many professionals don't have how to how to use it. How to use it, the project program. Uh, do you use different kind of software for work in your program in your uh, uh, program? to organize the job? We have software. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're, uh, uh, you have to draw different kind of project too. Yeah, for, I have for build different different things because your job is about construction, you know? Build uh -huh. some build uh build buildings. <laughs> uh -huh. so, like that. We I have to, to make sometimes I have
All right. Nice. Anybody wants to share? As a summary. Mm -hmm. Any volunteer? Oh, elegimos los volunteers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a chosen volunteer va a ser entonces. <laughs> okay, no problem. If you don't want to share, it's okay. We all have the right to decide. Okay. We'll have in the last attendance. Adriana. Christy. Present. Elsie. Present teacher. Fatima. Present teacher. Herman. Present teacher. Hector. Present. Isabel. Present. Catherine. Present teacher. Lucy. Present. Mayra. Present. Nuri. Present teacher. Roberto. Present. Okay. Vitelia. Walter. Present. Wendy. I am here. All right, great. Well, today is Roberto Carlos' turn for the one-on-one -on -one session. Okay. Nice. Therese, have a good rest. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. Good See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, night. Good good night teacher. Good night. Bye-bye. you. Good night, teacher. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hello, Mr. Hernandez. How are you? Um, I'm fine, teacher. Okay, tell me about you studying English. Um, repeat, teacher. Tell me about your experience studying English. Ah, my experience. I uh, my experience. Um, uh, the course now uh, is funny. <laughs> it's funny. Um, the English uh, for me is is necessary. And uh, for my my work, my my job is mm -hmm. technology i'm software engineering really yes where do you work um repeat, repeat. where do you work ah um i work in usair really yeah let's see yeah, nice. Yeah. That's so interesting. They do have a lot of programs for El Salvador now. Yes, and I, um, uh, we develop um, um, projects for institution the from El Salvador institution uh -huh, for El Salvador, mm -hmm. and I have um, nine years. Um, develop software for Ministerio de Hacienda. Really? Yes. So it's kind of very serious software development. Yes. <laughs> and I realize in uh, programs for taxes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. and and now, but it, there has been a big improvement because when I remember, we used to fill out all these formats on paper and the accountants had to do. And now it's very simple. You just enter the website and you just have to fill out some very little information and you just submit the declaration. It's done. Yes. And for um, um, and our, our work and our job is 
and realize a and, and system for, and how do you say, recaudation? Of taxes collection to be. Taxes collection, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh -huh. And integration inform, information uh, for, uh, uh, for the personal that works at the ministry. Person, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, um, so. but, uh, and now uh, I develop a um, system for ANDA. Mm -hmm. ANDA and. Um, so mainly for government institutions. Yes. All right, nice. I, you know, I need the English. Can uh, you develop the software in English or in Spanish? Um, um, the language, the computer the programming is, language is in English. Is 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 different. <laughs> I know. And <clears throat> is come on. You need to understand the programming language to develop the software. Mm -hmm. I know. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, um. Para, o sea, o sea, que para aprender un idioma, un lenguaje de programación. You need to understand no en, English. Ajá. Sí, pero. Uh, a little. Un poco. Sí, a little. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ajá, pero. The necessary para learn to. Uh, language program is um, logic. Yeah, there's a lot of analysis in programming yeah. languages uh -huh. to develop it is, the codes. It's, it's logic is it's the important. Mm -hmm. It's the more important. Okay. And uh -huh. how long have you been studying English? Um, not. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Por cuánto tiempo has estado estudiando inglés? Ah. Um, one year for one year but you have made yeah. great progress mm -hmm. and nice. but um, for my work mm -hmm. um, i don't have more time to practice to practice and, exactly and, uh, but did you complete the platform uh no 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 okay um, when are you planning to complete the, the platform? I I think uh, Friday. <laughs> Too much work. <laughs> Too much work at Usain. ¿Cómo? Tenía mucho trabajo at Usain. Too much work? Sí. Mm -hmm. uh, sí. Um, um but on friday you have a day off or a short day you say you're going pienso, to go, uh -huh, you say you're going to the platform. platform yes ah uh, um, finish seminar viernes friday on friday uh-huh so on friday at work is a short day or you don't work on Friday? Um, I think work tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. All right. uh, tomorrow uh, have um, um, more time. Tengo, tengo work in my house. Oh really? You do you have to do home office? Ah, uh -huh. see home office. Wow, uh, can be. <laughs> <laughs> I have a I have a friend, a colleague who is an engineer too, and she uh -huh. develops software too. And on Fridays she does home office. That's yes. a good thing. That's a plus that you are programmers. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. So but complete it. 
Le voy a recordar mañana si no lo he hecho. <laughs> I'm gonna remind you. Yes, because it, it's really important. It's really necessary for InSupport that you complete the platform. Okay? Okay. Yes. All right. Anything else I can help you with? Mm, no, official. It's okay. It's okay. Sure? Yes. Thumbs up? Okay. Great. <laughs> okay. Bueno. Have a good night. Bueno. Enjoy. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.